Well, howdy, y'all. This here's a handy redneck talking at you. It's uh, March 24th. It's uh, overcast spring day. And I'm a little bit antsy. Um, I wasn't really planning on doing much of gardening today, but something's it eating at me saying get it planted, get it planted, get it planted. So we're going to get it planted. Today, even though I wasn't planning on doing it for a couple weeks yet, we're going to go ahead and plant us some... Uh, uh, sweet pepper mix. Uh, I got 12 sets here. We're going to put 11 in because one's itty bitty. Um, and when I mean itty bitty, I mean it's just barely sprouted above the ground. And I don't know that we got a whole lot of room for them anyway. But, uh, well, I don't think we got a whole lot of room for number 12 anyway. Um, as, uh, looking at everything, I only planned spots for, uh, 11 peppers. Which, ain't nothing wrong with that. Um... Most of these are doubles, and they'll remain doubles until uh, they get about eight, eight or ten inches high. Uh, then we'll look at them and see which one's the stronger of the two, um, and uh, coal the weaker of the two. We might just leave them doubled up like that, you know. Uh, they grew like that. They're growing like this. Uh, they may like like it like this, so uh, we never can tell. This one here is the one I ain't going to plant. And that's because uh, he's an itty bitty thing. Like I say, he's just barely above the soil, so he's not getting planted in. But yeah, something was telling me uh, I needed to get outside and revel in nature's work. Uh, be outside, plant something, honor, honor those before us. And when I say honor those before us, there's a, a lot of different uh, before us that get honored. Uh, I'm talking... Uh, those who today we're talking about those who uh, grow and prepare uh, their own food and most of what we eat you know they, they get the short end of the stick most of the time because a lot of people these days don't know where their food comes from and by gardening you're actually carrying on uh, uh, an age-old tradition and I say age-old because from what we understand about mankind at one point in time we did not uh, f uh, garden or farm or ranch or whatever you want to call it we found things that were edible and we just uh, ate what we could and then we started uh, discovering how nature did stuff and we started emulating nature and that's how we got to where we're at today is uh, by emulating nature and uh, honoring her with a garden so I get over here and get these planted in. It 
it shouldn't take too long. It rained last night. Uh, evidently pretty good. The ground's still wet, so this pair of overalls I'm wearing is going to end up in the in the washing machine today because it's going to be covered in mud. But uh, as you can see, the tomatoes we planted out the other day um, under the plastic, they're doing all right. They ain't super super growing or anything yet because they ain't gotten to the really hot part of the year that they like but uh you know under the plastic and everything uh we're getting plenty of water plenty of sun uh staying warm and they're doing all right Yeah, these uh, pepper plants, you probably can't see it, but I can. They're, they're actually starting to get a couple of roots out of their uh, grow pod. So it wouldn't have been much more than a week or two until we'd be planting these guys out here anyway. So we're just doing it a little early. I don't know what I'm going to show y'all and talk about once the garden is fully set, except maybe once a week come out and show you an update, which means I ain't going to get to talk at you that often, which means I'm going to go stir crazy because uh, if I ain't talking at you on YouTube, odds are I ain't talking at you at all because I'm, I'm a bit of a hermit. I'll admit it, um, you know, here I am, early 40s, uh, no wife, no girlfriend, no significant other, no kids, unless you count the, the three heathen dogs I got, uh, but I ain't really got anything other than the gardens. The chickens, the dogs, and any uh, crafting projects I do. And yeah, I'm I'm a weirdo. I uh, I actually crochet. Um, if you look uh, into the channel here, you'll see some of the projects I did on on a, a different video. Uh, you know. I mostly crochet and give stuff away or crochet stuff for auctions and whatnot. I, I got a blanket right now uh, set to, it's being raffled off um, in a nearby town. Uh, all proceeds go to the local uh, pregnancy center because like I say, I ain't got no wife or kids or nothing. Um, I guess it's because I'm ugly in one shape or another. You know, I do have depressive moods, and I suppose that can be seen as ugly. But uh, since I ain't got no kids, um, I do what I can where I can uh, to help some that may be starting a family, you know. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't really happy about all these single mothers running around, uh, struggling, uh, I ain't gonna say it no fault of their own because, well, they, it takes two to make a baby, I'm sorry, but, uh, at the same time, uh, I don't want them to get rid of the baby because we need babies. Babies are wonderful things. So I'm not a rich man or anything of that nature, but I help when I can. And one of the things I can help with is I can spend 30 or $40 
on some yarn, uh, make a spend a, a month or two making an afghan, raffle it off, and all the proceeds go to like the pregnancy center, you know, to offset the cost for some of these young. You know, that's one of the things that really bothers me these days is the cost of stuff. And the cost of stuff shouldn't be costing that much. We got a lot of greedy people that want more than they need. And they want and want and want. Now I ain't I ain't uh, against anybody making more money than they can use. I ain't against it. I'm actually for it. But there comes a point as to how you're making that money uh, that becomes an issue with me. Now, a new house for a single person should not cost eighty or a hundred thousand dollars. It shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't. That's one of the reasons, even though I don't live in a tiny house, I live in a recycled house, uh, and I say recycled because I paid $1,500 for my house. Um, it was an old 1976 trailer in a town about an hour away. I paid $1,500 for it. They moved it for another $500 and blocked it up and set it where I wanted it. So for $2,000, I got me a house uh, recycled. It needed work. It needed uh, some, some uh, roof work. It needed some flooring work. It needed all new plumbing. But uh, there ain't a reason at all that most things that uh, we're charging our youngins should cost as much as it is. You know, that's just the way I feel. Uh, anyway, I'm off topic. Uh, we planted the sweet peppers. We're, we're covering them back up. Um, I'll get this end opened up uh, after I get the, the, the cables here tightened back up. Uh, we'll get it opened up and let air flow through there. Uh, and that's about it. So this here's been a handy redneck. I'll talk at y'all later.